How's it going, everybody? So um, I'm on an OMC Cobra today, uh, 5.8 liter, and I want to make this video real quick. I've, I'm uh, disassembling the uh, majority of the front of the engine um, today, and just investigating some noise issues and and whatnot. Um, I'm going to do a video on the alternator here, but um, one of the things that I wanted to show you today was what it looks like when you have a water pump, um, which this really in a, a marine configuration is more of a circulation pump. It just, you know, circulates water throughout the block and then dumps it into the manifolds. But um, to cut to the chase here, let me show you something if you're chasing noise issues on your boat and you're trying to figure out, you know, where are these noises coming from? Um, one of the places to consider would be the alternator. Uh, there's bearings and there's two bearings and then um, this uh, water pump, if you will. Listen to this. Right? Go the other way, just for fun. Now, what do you think? This is a 1990 model. You think that's normal? I'm going to go out on a limb here. I'm going to say that's not normal. So we've got a combination of metal, uh, grinding metal sounds. And um, to give my viewers an idea here, this is probably the worst sounding bearing I've ever heard before. It's bad. So when you're chasing noise issues um, on your boat, you can't exactly figure out where it's coming from. This little water pump right here. Um, the 5.0 has similar um, water pump and even 5.7 on your uh, Chevy engines, um, something similar. So let's switch over real quick to the uh, alternator. I want to show you that real quick too. Okay. So we flipped over to the alternator. Take a look at this. I kind of got it isolated against. Let's see if we can get it real close. Just take a listen here. kind of hard to hear but you hear that that vibration noise um, bearings on this is uh, on this one is no good uh, it's kind of hard to do with one hand but you can actually take and you've got play um, in here it's it's kind of odd I mean to me you know it's it's tough replacing a, a part that is functional this this will put out um, you know 14 um, volts no problem it's just you know the bearings on this thing are just so you know so bad so I'm gonna go ahead and replace this um, if my viewers are curious if they're looking at this because they don't know you know which um, lead goes where I've done a, uh, a quick diagram here Let's see if I can get it without the glare in the uh, camera here so we got orange on that side you've got your um, blue only connector there let's flip it around your red only connector there oh check that one out there's your gray cable on that side genius right and then this one is for uh, red and purple so let's flip it around this way so you can kind of see it's kind of a shame you don't really see made in a made in the US much anymore. This is a Presto light. So um, AC tap is going to be blue only and then your um, positive output is going to be orange and then we go over here um, you've got that side which is green red and red and purple. So there you go. We knocked out a few things in one video Got to talk about a bearing bad, All right? And we talked about a whew, terribly, terribly bad <laughs> water pump. So I'm going to go ahead and get this um, this replaced. But I I felt like you know my viewers, you know, if you're chasing noise issues um, and you're trying to figure out what's causing it, you know, what's causing these. Uh, noise issues there you go something considered well like always hope you liked the video 
Hope this helped. Uh, if you have any questions about alternators or water pumps on Fords, I, I know a great deal about the Chevy 5.7s as well. A little bit about 4.3s, let me know. And uh, if you liked the video, hit that like button, subscribe, share the video. Have a good one.